you really want to have cybersecurity be considered an operational risk within the organization, and it needs to be treated as such. The fourth control within governance is the process that you have established and does it address cybersecurity risks within your overarching and your larger governance and risk management processes for the organization. That being said, do you just manage, besides what we said in, govern in uh, uh, governance three, where we're looking at a regular cadence, right? That should be definitely set up. But where in line, right, your maturity does cybersecurity exists? If you're operating at the lowest level, is it just one individual? Is it underneath IT? Is it a single person that is managing and identifying the risks? Is it within a larger IT construct for risk management? Is it within a steering committee or some sort within the uh, business or the IT management or at the highest level and maybe even beyond, is there an executive level review, right, of these risks? Do you have a risk committee? Do you have an enterprise risk committee? Is this going into some traditional ERM, right? Is this going up to the board, right? Which ideally it should be. This determines your visibility. This is where you're going to point to and say, our company understands cyber risk versus my department understands cyber risk. You really want to have cybersecurity be considered an operational risk within the organization, and it needs to be treated as such. This is really important. I know I can say a lot of things are really important, but if this is not held to and Instead, cybersecurity is viewed as an IT risk, or even worse, set down underneath IT as a risk, and security is just seen down here. If it's operating at these levels and not here, your organization is going to have a very hard time truly addressing cybersecurity risks when they start coming up. This needs to be twofold. A lot of times, and I think a lot of the information security community kind of just mischaracterizes the business's misunderstanding of what they need to be uh, in complete and like, you know, total, uh, you know, acceptance of. It's not entirely on the business to understand cybersecurity risk. It is up to the business to establish somebody whether it's a CISO, ideally, or it's the CIO, or it's a director because you're not that big, or whatever it is, whoever's job it is needs to be established. That is what executive and management's role is here. It then falls to this person to then articulate that these risks need to be treated as an operational risk in the overarching enterprise risk management for the organization. I would probably be stepping away from organizations if this group created this role and then had no interaction whatsoever. That is not an effective governance structure. That is not an organization that is taking cybersecurity seriously. It is not treating it as an operational risk. Conversely, if this person is unable to show that cybersecurity is an operational risk, it should be treated and should be viewed appropriately at higher levels within the organization and transparently shown to executive leadership and the board, then this person is not right for that role. So it's it's very interesting when you kind of get into this dynamic and this maturity, there are really many different players here. I think there's uh, a, a, a feeling sometimes, right, wrong, or indifferent, that somehow comes up from information security professionals about executive leadership and about executive leadership thinking about information security professionals. This is a team sport here. And together, we need to come together to understand that as an operational risk, cybersecurity can be addressed by an organization. And once that happens, it will then have the weight and the power to be able to then firmly address those risks 
appropriate for the organization. 